Ma has always had a knack for detecting weaknesses. And by all means, she tolerated none from me. She was a school teacher, an activist, a woman who believed in a democracy and free Vietnam. Ten years after the fall of Saigon in 1975, both Ma and Ba left their home country behind and flee from the pressure of the new communist regime, enduring a seven-day and eight-night trip on a small boat. Saigon. 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 It was a battle of physical, mental, as well as spiritual resilience. Both have already accepted the fact that yes, their chance of dying at sea was extremely high, but they were willing to risk it all in order to build a better future. Min lang ngui nik bing, she would proudly say. A story so familiar that it induces imageries of saline droplets trickling along the hopeful faces of 51 Vietnamese passengers. Family heirlooms were exchanged. Loved ones were left behind. Properties were bartered. All the sacrifices that my parents made in order to establish a better life. Luckily, those 51 passengers, including Ba and Ma, were the few boat units that arrived safely to their destination. Both live in a refugee camp located in Pula Galang, Indonesia, where I was born and raised for the first few months of my life. We became part as what is known today the Vietnamese diaspora. After 18 months residing in a refugee camp, we were finally sponsored by the Migration and Refugee Services, and were allowed to live in the U.S. Ah, yes, the United States of America, a land where Vietnamese nightmares are forever buried and American optimisms are sprouted. A place where agrarian-based mentality would soon be chased down by individualism and prosperity, unraveling the very core values of the American dream. Unfortunately, that dream was merely a fantasy and far out of reach. When we arrived to the U.S., my parents rented a studio, worked as a seamstress making ten dollars a day, and survived off a of food stamp just so the family can survive. And so, as the day progressed and the American dream was far from obtaining, the only sole belief that they hold dearly was the value of education. They have taught me that regardless of what social economics or ethnic background I originated from, education is and always will be the success. Of obtaining that long-term dream. Có cầm mai sắc, có ngài nên kim. Ma would always say, which translates as, "The hard labor of sharpening a piece of iron will one day turn into a well-defined piece of metal." And so, at 18 years old and with little life experiences, I packed my bags, left my folks, flew out of Chicago, and spent the next couple of years in Northern California, cultivating the slab of iron into what Ma would call a defined piece of metal. I am, in some aspect, a Vietnamese boat person. Now maybe I haven't spent seven days or eight nights on sea hiding from Thai pirates, or surviving off of food rations, but in some essence, I continue to embody myself as a boat person. Plunged, thrust, 
and seasick by oscillating waves of hardships. I always continue to anchor my determination of coming out of that storm of life alive. Mình là người nực binh. Mình là người nực binh. We are the Vietnamese boat people.